hello guys welcome back to guitar tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix trip bank 2 is having crashing issue it is not launching freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck or loaded screen and even black screen which is happening for many of the users right now across the globe and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about when you're having these kind of issue we need to start with a simple restart for that we just need to go over here in the start click on this go for this one and go for a simple restart once restart is successfully done just try launching the game this is the basic step which you have to try out if it's not working we have to move to the next one next one is all about we need to start with verify integrity of game file so this is an actually an important step for this we just need to go over here keep scrolling down and navigate to the game right click and go to properties go to install it file click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is if you as you can see this will cross check every single files of the game if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed from here this is quite important because if any one of the files is missing as well as if it's corrupted we'll be having these kind of troubles which i mentioned in the title so it is quite important for you to do the verify integrity of game file which is an important step and you should not be neglecting this at any cost you should be doing this and once after that once this reach 100 percentage we'll be getting the play button over here then click on the play and see whether the issue is solved if still it's not working we'll move to the next step that is all about we need to launch the game from installation folder instead of launching the game from steam most of us will be launching the game from steam sometimes this might cause the issue so if that is the case we need to launch the game from the installation folder so we can navigate to the installation folder using two method one using a shortcut from the stream itself another using the file explorer which i'll be showing you both the things down the road first we'll go with the shortcut from the stream for that we just need to go over here right click and go to properties now go to install it file just click on the browse now if you go back you'll be able to see that there is a file open over here which is navigating this pc locker to see program file x86 steam steam apps common tripunk 2 which means we are on the installation folder so just launch the game from here so launching the game from installation folder this did work out for many users so you can try this out so just launch the game from installation folder even after trying if it's still not working we have to move to the next step that is we need to run the game as an administrator for that we just need to select this one right click and go to show more option go to properties go to compatibility now from here go to run this program as an administrator go for run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok so most probably for few users when they run the game as an administrator that's that did work out for them so you can try this out as well or if still you are having an issue you can try with one more step that is running the game in the compatibility mode for few few users in as far as i'm concerned it did mention for some users mentioned the steps in the steam community forum itself that when they run the game in compatibility mode it did work out for them for that we just need to go over here right click and go to show more options go to properties compatibility go for run this program in compatibility mode first set this to windows 7 and try whether windows 7 is not working after launching the game if it's not working we can try with windows 8 as well set this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok so try with both the thing you can try with windows 7 as well as you can try with windows 8 so both the thing is quite important so you can try with any one of the thing so if it's still not working we'll move to the next step next step is all about we have to make sure that the windows language is english some users might be using the windows in native language like chinese japanese german arabic etc which might cause the issue up for that might be the reason so we can take we cannot take a chance on that so just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to time and language go over here in language and region now from here go to can uh, go to over here you can see the english being set so if the your language is in any other language so go over here add language just search for the language now search for the language if you wanted to set this to english which is very important search for the language set the language and make sure the country is correct you have to select the respective country that is related to your geography that i'm from india so i have to select india now go back 
go to the date and time make sure the time and time zone is correct more users most of the users are having an issue when this this might be turn it off so set the time zone as well as time correct once after that just close this go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to try with launching the game using alt and tab so just click on the play button the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work out for many users so this is quite important step you have to press alt and tab together from the keyboard that's going to work for you as well just click on the play button and that's what we have to do moving to the next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in this file explorer go to documents over here so you'll be getting the folder on the game so if you find the folder just delete the folder so you'll be losing all the progressions of the game that is fine you have to start from the scratch but this did work out for many users so just delete the folder once you delete the folder just close everything and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to allow the game to window security for that we just need to go over here in the search go for control panel just search for control panel now go for system and security go for windows defender firewall just go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here as you can see you have to search for the game so it ends up as an alphabet just navigate to t where you will be able to find the game so just go to t and over here you will be find tripeng2 so this is the game so here you have to make sure the private and public both should be checked this is an important step this should be checked if not you have to mark it so imagine the game is not added we can add it by manually for that just click on change settings go for allow another app go for browse go for this pc go to local disk c program file x86 go for steam folder go to steam apps go to common now from here go to tripeng to now select this one and add it so i'm get i'll be getting an error because it's already added so this is how we can add it manually once you add it just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so you might be connected with controllers you might be connected with multiple monitors you might be even connected with logitech wheels for any other game for example like fn23 all these kind of bring us a lot of trouble so it is quite important we have to remove everything from the usb port just launch the game after the game is successfully launched if you wanted to play the game with the controller just connect back the controller and try launch the game and that's what we have to do next one is all about we need to try with performing a clean boot for that just go over here in the search go for system configuration now go for services go for disable all go for apply and go for okay it might ask you for restart for those users who are watching this they have to go for a restart but i am going to exit without restart because we are in the middle of video those who are watching this go for a restart once the restart is successfully done most probably the issue has to be fixed because this did work out for many users in my knowledge so you can try this step or you can mark this step as an important one next one we have to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here in the game right click and go to properties then we just have to make sure this should be disable this has to be disable and once after that this is disabled you have to try launch the game or it's not working we have to go for giving the commands in the launch option so just give the command in the launch option the first command is we have to go for dx11 give the command dx11 if dx11 is not working go for dx12 try with dx11 or dx12 any one of the thing will be working out so just try with each commands and once after that just launch the game as well next one is all about we need to start with running the game we have to close all the overclocking application which is one of the main reason why we are having the issue for that we just need to go over here in the start right click and if you go to the task manager you will be able to understood there are many things running in the background which is actually utilizing the performance of ram and even cross, crossing the crashing issue so it is quite important for this we understood that we have to clear out the unwanted things for example if discord is there if the discord is there it's actually an example of overlay application which is one of the main reason we are having the crashing issue and even if you go for the next one that is all about overclocking application which is one of the main reason as well for the uh, crashing this comes under the category like you know riva tuner msi afterburn etc all these comes under this so if you find any unwanted things from here just remove everything from here here which is causing the crashing issue and keep only the wanted things so once after that just try launch the game most probably for many users this state helper this is quite important step as well next one we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card 
for that we just need to go over here in the search we need to go for graphics settings over here we just need to find the game over here we have to add it so just click on browse now from here it's not added we have to add it manually just click on the browse now go to this pc go to local disc c program for x86 now from here we have to go to steam folder so go to steam folder now from here go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here go to tripping 2 now we have to select this and go for add so once the game is added just click on the option and set this to high performance this is quite important we have to set this to high performance and you set this to high performance go for save and once you go for save just close this go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory for that reason we have to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings now from here go to advanced go for settings once again advanced once again go for change make sure that local disk where the game is installed should be selected so in my case it is local disk c where the game is installed make sure this is blank go for custom size and give the value for initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. maximum size is three times the total RAM. so we need a calculator so just use a calculator so i have to multiply the ram of my computer just multiply your ram with 1024 this is actually a constant value 1024 multiply this with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just paste it next value is 32 gb i have to multiply with 1024 same multiply it with 3 because maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just copy this paste it and go for ok and once you go for ok launch the game this is quite important as well you can try this out next one we need to update the graphics card for that i'll be providing link in the description so you do not, do not have to worry so that is if you go to the nvidia over here that will take you to this now from here you have to select the product product series product operating system language etc so i'm on windows 11 and i have to select the respective one come in correct product has to be selected and go for start search you'll be able to find few things over here so this is the latest related version that is 536.23 which is released on june 14th 2023 so just download this one install this on your pc if you're on amd just go the same cell the respective product from here go for submit so you'll be getting the option if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one install restart the pc which is mandatory and try launch the game even after if it's still not working we have to install microsoft visual c plus plus so also i'll be providing a link in the description so over here as you can see you have to keep scrolling down and you have to download x64 so just download x64 from here and once you download x64 from here what you need to do is you just need to install restart is a mandatory and c moving to the next one is all about we need to update the windows for the go over here in the settings over here we just need to go to windows update make sure the windows is up to date which is an important one because for running a game like this we need the windows to be up to date. so just update the windows and even after trying all these things and you're still having the issue you can try with one more step that is all about uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back for that reason we have to go over here right click and go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you can install back but should not be installing back on the same local disk you can try the position of local disk from c to d or e anywhere etc so these are the possible workarounds that you can be try out and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos bye bye bye